Okay, so the other day I was driving my Jeep, and all of a sudden I just get barely down the street and it just dies. Almost seems like electrical. And as you can see here, let's turn it this way. See here, it doesn't show a gas gauge. When you try to start, it just keeps turning over. It's just gonna, it'll keep turning over. Um, gas gauge doesn't really work or show anything in, and also you're not gonna hear any priming from the gas, from the fuel pump. So you're thinking, you know, fuel pump, right? And then I went ahead and sprayed starting fluid in here and was able to get it to fire. So it's definitely not spark plugs. So it's not spark plugs, it's not battery, it's not power. It's getting gas, everything that it needs, so it's not the fuel pump. And then, um, I didn't figure this out on my own, unfortunately. It would have been a lot cheaper if I figured it out myself, but took it into the dealership and found out this was the problem. So this is the PCM, or computer, and um, basically, I guess they go bad in Jeeps a lot. So, just to show you real quick, let me see. This is the coolant tank that goes on the two bolts here there's one there one there i think they are 10 millimeter yeah 10 millimeter so take that out you could take the battery out too but i actually just detached this thing so there's a bolt down let me show you there's a bolt down there bolt there and then bolts on right here okay so then i just shoved that out of the way so that I could get to this stuff. And you kind of have to pull these cords off too. You can grab her. I don't care. I'm going to I can. I'm gonna edit the video anyways. Maybe not. Anyways, so then you got these three connectors that have plugs on top and bottom. And this is your PCM. So if you unbolt those two there. There's 10 mils. You can take that off. There's a secret one though down there that you actually have to come around. And look. See if you can see it. The bolt's actually right there, and then there's a nut on it, 10 millimeter nut. So you probably need a long, a long um, socket. So yeah, so that's the little hidden one underneath the wheel well there. And then once you get those all pulled out, and these connectors also, like I said, they're top and bottom. So you gotta make sure you pull the top and bottom. Anyways, I'll come back. Okay, so I'm gonna take the ground off before we start messing with the computer. Make sure to take the ground off. So I might set this down for a second, but yeah, so you can see there's a clip on the top of these three, and there's a clip on the bottom as well. Hold on. So you can see, maybe, there's two clips that you gotta depress. So there's three there, looks like gray, white, and black. Gray's on the left, white's in the middle, black's on the right. So you just pull this guy out. And it's got a ground connected right there. And it's a Torx. So let's see what size it is. T25, so you're going to want a T25 to get these off, alright, to get these off, T25, you just barely have to unscrew it, alright, that's hard to do with one hand, doesn't want to come off the ground, So get that completely pulled out. So yeah, you know, it's interesting that it's, you know, it ended up being a no-start condition. And I even replaced the fuel pump already. 
I didn't take it, I didn't find out until I took it into the dealership. They wanted fifteen hundred to fix it. Now one thing about this new thing, really important. This new PCM you have to get from like uh, I would say AutoZone's website is really good and they're you know they're um well known and everything and they have good return warranty policies. But here's the thing, it has to be programmed for your car. So you can't just buy any old any old one of these. You have to get the one for your car and it has to be programmed by um the company that does that did mine is oh, I just had it right here. Um uh, it's Ramon. You can look it up. It's but there these is this is a Ramon. Um, but yeah, if you go on the AutoZone website, that's all they have is, is Ramon. Uh, but yeah, it's really good quality, and it's been programmed with my VIN number and uh, mileage. So you have to have that done, or the computer's not going to work for you. Alright, I'm going to put this new one on here. i got to set that down for a minute. screws in here. Make sure it's secured. Okay, so I just put two on there. Because the third one's gonna be my ground. So just to be careful about static and stuff. I don't know how careful you really gotta be, but Definitely like getting it from AutoZone because of the return policy and everything. Okay, so you don't want to necessarily tighten those two down without putting this one on all the way because they kind of pull it away. ground on and then I'll tighten the other two down. Right, there's a new PCM in place, ground in place. That bolt goes down at the bottom, this hooks at the top. Sorry, I keep it set down. There's a couple cables down there. Gotta kind of get it under those cables and onto there. All right. Moment of truth here. These all tighten down. What? Oh. Uh -oh. Might have mixed these up, but they're all 10 millimeters. So. Okay. Hey, what did I just 
this one there's a bolt. There's my baby. Looking at the dog. Oh, this other one goes way down in there. See? Gotta sit it down again. <laughs> 